Uh, well, I was asleep at that hour. Yeah. Um, well, it was excitement. You're adding a player of that caliber, right? I mean, it's talking about one of the top forwards, top centermen in the entire NHL. So I think if you look at how we can complement our other guys up front, that's going to be a big part. You know, these decisions are never easy from a you know person standpoint. I mean, obviously, um, I've only known Krebsy and Tucky for a short period, but those guys become your friends when you play with them every single night. So those are always the hard part, you know, these things. But I think once Jack gets here and, and you know gets healthy and all that, I think uh, you know it'd be a good good feel in the locker room because we know. You know, how strong a player he is. That's kind of the other aspect of this, usually when a team gets a guy and you're just flying yeah. and you're ready to play, I guess how strange is it? What is it like having a guy added to the team that you know won't play for months? Well, I mean, we all kind of know the whole thing about it. I mean, there was no secrets with regards to that. We knew that already. So um, you want him to get healthy. That's the most important thing, right? I mean, he's still a young player. You want that to go well so he can come back and play. And I mean, that's, that's probably a better question for someone way smarter than me about how that's going to go. So well, we're just going to buy our time until he's ready. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing around a you know, quote, number one center, I mean, um, we don't know where he's going to fit in the lineup just yet. I mean, we have to see how things go. I mean, if you look at how well Stevie's played to this point, I mean, people always say he can't be a number one center, but he's certainly playing like he can be and uh, it's it's fun to see him have such you know good success without Patchen Stoney because I feel like he gets you know in that group there so he's been phenomenal for us so it's just more depth up the middle you always want depth up the middle I mean whether he's playing with those guys or somebody else I mean it's an important thing to have centermen that can play at this level. I've only played against him a couple times uh, from the in the Western Conference my whole career and then he was hurt so um, he's dynamic when he has the puck the game changes that's what I've always noticed playing against him a few times and watching him play he controls the pace of the game and that's what those elite players can do um, if you look at his career numbers there's a reason why he's had success like that so I mean offensively I think uh, on the power play those are things that he's going to help things that maybe we need a little bit of help with I mean the more depth you have up front scoring wise the better off you're going to be so um, it changes our matchups from the other team looking at us and you know Jack can change the game in the blink of an eye and, and that's an element that, that you want on your team. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we've done a good job. These young guys have come in, we've added guys. It's never easy to just learn a new system. So, you know, I think uh, we changed a few things with our system this year too. Um, guys who played last year, they come up and things are different. It's taking time to adjust for those guys, but I think we've done a pretty good job. I mean, it's not easy to lose the guys that we have. We've lost key guys for a long period. So for us, it's, it's given ourselves a chance to win every night. I think Lenny's done that for us too. He's given us a chance to win. And uh, we just got to find a way to get some streaks and wins together here. We won, you know, we're what, three and one in our last four. We're going to build off that here moving forward. Let's take a question over Zoom from Ted Goats with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Hey, Alex. Obviously, uh, very exciting to get a player of Jack's caliber, but uh, what's it like to say goodbyes, goodbye to guys in the locker room like Alex Stock and Peyton Krebs? Yeah, I touched on that before. It's not easy. These are always, uh, it's the hard part about this thing, right? They're, they're people and, and they like the city and they like the team so it's um, it's not a fun thing to go through I've been through it before so it's uh, you obviously wish nothing but the best for those guys and those guys will always be friends and I'm sure we'll run into each other at some point here sooner rather than later.